Hi there, in today's video we are going to talk about the aircraft center of gravity. By the end of the video you will know what the center of gravity is, why it is so important to calculate and know the location of your aircraft center of gravity and then at the end we're gonna understand and talk about what happens to your aircraft when the center of gravity moves around the longitudinal axis. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Hi there, I'm Gabriel from pilotclimb.com. I help you to become a better pilot. So if you are interested, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you want to support my job, please give it a like to the video because this really helps the channel to grow. Okay, so let's talk about center of gravity. First of all, what is the aircraft center of gravity? The aircraft center of gravity is the theoretical point at which the whole weight of the aircraft, the whole weight of the aircraft is considered to act. Okay, so as you know, inside the aircraft we've got a lot of masses, such as passengers, such as carrying the fuel and so on. All these things, they have a mass and they have a weight. However, in order to calculate the mass and balance of your aircraft, we need to figure it out what is the center of gravity location. And the center of gravity location is the, that theoretical point where the whole weight of your aircraft is considered to act. Okay, so if we jump into the whiteboard, okay, I'll show you what the center of gravity is with a practical example. So if you look at the whiteboard in here, we've got this Boeing 737, okay? So the Boeing 737 center of gravity uh, is basically the same as the Cessna 172 of the Boeing 747 and so on. So once you understand what is the center of gravity, what happened to your aircraft when the center of gravity moves, you're actually able to understand what happens to the center of gravity of all the aircrafts, okay? So if you look at the whiteboard in here, okay? So the center of gravity, as we said, is the theoretical point where the whole weight of your aircraft is considered to act. So for example, in order to understand what the center of gravity is, let's say that the center of gravity of this aircraft is here, okay? Is this point in there. So if we, put an arrow going down there, we actually can say that the center of gravity is the point where the weight is acting, okay? So now, let me tell you this. What will happen to the center of gravity of this Boeing 737 if we put a lot of weight in this part of the plane, at the back, on the cargo compartment, for example? Let's, let's say you put a lot of weight on the aft cargo compartment, okay? Since you put a lot of weight at the back, the center of gravity will actually move backwards or we move aft, okay? Because you are concentrating more weight at the back of the plane, okay? And the opposite is also true. If you put a lot of weight on the, on the front of the plane, in that case, the center of gravity will move forward. So as you can see, it really depends where the weight is concentrated will make this center of gravity to move, okay? So now, a very important thing to know and understand is that the center of gravity has got an aft and a forward limitation. So what does it mean? The center of gravity of your aircraft cannot be anywhere, okay? You cannot just say, okay, I want my center of gravity to be here, okay? This doesn't really work, okay? The limit of the center of your aircraft, okay, is made by the manufacturer, okay? The manufacturer, when it was built in the plane, when it was designed in the plane, what it did, they basically took to, did a flight test and they tried to move the weight around the aircraft and they say, okay, the aircraft has got this limit of center of gravity. So what does it mean is that your center of gravity needs to be within this forward and after limits all the time, okay? Now, I cannot tell you what are these limits because the, these limits really change depending on the aircraft, okay? But you need to be aware that your aircraft, okay, will have a center of gravity limitation, okay? So in this case, for example, for this aircraft, the Boeing 737 is going to have a, a forward center of gravity limitation and a, a aft center of gravity limitation. So what does it mean is that you can move the weights around, but you need to make sure that your center of gravity will stay always within these two limitations. Okay. So for example, this center of gravity is kind of a forward center of gravity. And if you put a lot of weight at the back, as we did before, the center of gravity will move aft, but it always has to stay within these limitations, okay? What will happen if your center of gravity is not within the limitation is that your aircraft is not stable anymore. You cannot really fly it anymore, okay? Of course, if you go away from the limitations slightly, that's, the aircraft won't fall from the skies, that's for sure, but 
especially when you are talking about big aircraft, you really need to take that in consideration. So that's why it is very important that before every takeoff, you actually calculate your center of gravity, you do your mass and balance calculations in order to make sure that you find out where is your center of gravity with the weight of that flight and if the center of gravity is within these limitations, the forward and the aft. Okay. What will happen if, for example, you have a center of gravity that it is not within the limit, okay, you simply need to change the distributions of the weight of your aircraft. So let's say you have a center of gravity that is beyond your forward limit, so you have a nose heavy plane, so your center of gravity, if you look at the whiteboard, let's say your center of gravity is here. Okay, so you have made your calculations, okay, you have done everything perfectly, then you find out that your center of gravity is beyond your forward limit. What you would you do? You simply need to take a weight from maybe from the hold, okay, from the forward hold and put the weight at the back of the plane, okay, for example, that but every time you need to think and check what it was the problem there because by moving weight from here from the front to the back what will happen is that you concentrate more weight at the back thus the center of gravity will start moving backwards until the limitations okay all right now that we talked about the center of gravity and you know what the center of gravity is and you know that you can change the center of gravity location let's see what happens when you actually change the center of gravity location to your aircraft okay so as we said before the center of gravity is the point at which the entire weight of your aircraft is considered to act so if you look on the whiteboard you can say that the center of gravity of the aircraft in this example is here okay so this is your cg center of gravity but there is another thing that we need to take into consideration when we are talking about the center of gravity and the aircraft stability is the center of pressure. The center of pressure, guys, is the point, the theoretical point where the lift is considered to act. OK, so if that if that is the center of gravity, we can say that the center of pressure, let's say, is this one. OK, so in this case, this, on the center of pressure, we've got the lift. So as you can see in here, okay, if you visualize the picture in here, if the center of gravity is in front of the center of pressure, what will happen is that the aircraft will have the tendency to pitch down, all right? Because if the center of gravity is acting in this direction, the center of pressure is acting in that direction, the aircraft will pitch down, okay? But as you are very well aware, the aircraft can actually fly in a straight level flight. How does this happen? It's because we've got the, stabilize, the stabilizer at the back of the plane that will actually counteract for this movement, okay, for, for this moment. Because if we have the aircraft is pitching down, what will happen to the tail is that the tail will go up. So the stabilizer will have this, the duty of correcting this thing, okay? Fantastic. So now that you visualize this, you can see that if the center of gravity is behind the center of pressure, the opposite is also true. Okay. So if you if you move your center of gravity at the back of the center of pressure, the aircraft will have the tendency to pitch up. Okay. Because you're gonna have, let me let me draw it up for you. Okay. So if you take the center of gravity, so this is the center of pressure. Okay. Just for a. Uh, to make the example okay so in this case this is the center of pressure so the center of pressure you have a, 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 an upward uh, force okay and the center of gravity you have a downward force so because it's your weight okay so if the center of gravity is behind the center of pressure in this case we the aircraft will have the tendency to pitch up okay so this is why it's so important to know what happens to your aircraft when you move your center of gravity compared to the center of pressure, okay? And in that case, in order to counteract for that, the stabilizer should produce a, a, an, upward, an upward force in order to counteract, in order to correct this tendency of pitch up, okay? So, but let me ask you something. If you are stalling, in a stall, what would you like to have? Would you like to have a nose heavy plane or a tail heavy plane? So in case of a stall, would you like to have the center of gravity in front of the center of pressure or vice versa? Let's analyze. When you stall, what do you want to do? You want to pitch down, okay, get speed and then go back. Because by pitching down, increase your speed, the lift over the wing will increase, thus the aircraft will fly back again, okay? So, in order to increase the lift of the wing, the wings need to fly in the right direction, okay? Because the wings generate lift if they fly uh, forward. If they fly backward, they won't generate the same lift, okay? Because they're not designed to fly uh, backward, okay? So, 
If you're stalling, you want the nose of the aircraft naturally to pitch down because by pitching down what will happen is that the flow, the airflow on top of your wing will actually generate the best lift, okay? So by having a center of gravity that is in front of your center of pressure, what will happen is that if you stall, the aircraft will automatically generate a pitch down moment. Thus, that's why we say that a forward center of gravity will make your aircraft more stable, okay? But a, a, a forward center of gravity, what will happen is that since the aircraft is nose heavy, okay, the stick force will increase a lot, okay? The stall speed will increase. There are a lot of things, but I'm gonna make a separate video where I talked about the implications of the moving on center of gravity. But what you need to understand for this video is that what is the center of gravity? What are the limitations of the center of gravity? You have an aft and a forward center of gravity. For example, when we take off, okay, we do the calculations for takeoff. Now we have softwares that will calculate the performances and will give us exactly the position of the center of gravity and will tell us if we are within the limits, okay, within the range. Or you may have tables, okay, paper tables where you put all the weights, all the locations of the weights and that will tell you if you are within the limitations, okay. So that's why it's very important because you need to uh, visualize the center of gravity position it can make your, your nose heavy if you have a, a forward center of gravity or your tail heavy if you have a, a aft center of gravity, okay. So the last thing that I want to talk to you is what happened to the aircraft, okay, when you actually, uh, you are in cruise, okay, because the center of gravity is not a fixed position, okay, so you load the plane, you do everything, everything is fine, perfect, great, however, during the flights, people move around the plane, especially in big aircraft, you have passengers going from the back to the forward, you've got fuel that is, uh, when you burn fuel, what will happen is that you basically move in weight because if before the, the center of the aircraft was heavy because you had a lot of weight, okay, if you start burning fuel, that part of the weight disappears because you burn, with, you burn the fuel, okay, that's what will happen is that the center of gravity, depending on its location, will move forward or will move aft, okay. So as you can see, the center of gravity is not fixed is the center of gravity will change throughout the flight, okay? Let's say you're on Cessna 172 and then you've got, you are alone and you have a, a huge bag next to you, okay? If that huge bag with the 100 kilograms of bag will go at the back of the plane, suddenly your center of gravity will move backwards, okay? With all the implications that we talked about, okay? A, a backward center of gravity will make your, your aircraft less stable, for example, but I will make a separate video about that. Okay, I hope now you understand what the center of gravity is and how can you move the center of gravity around your longitudinal axis and what are the implications with that, okay? If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I will help you out. Also go to paloplan.com where you can subscribe for free paloplan.com. I wish you a great day and I'll see you on the next one.